Today we're going to be looking at the Mountoon Focus RS V2 kit. And Mountoon's done a really good job of creating a number of different kit options for your Focus RS. Uh, each one of the kits, as you move up from B1, B2, B3, and, and there on, uh, each one of them includes different levels of performance in a different number of components. Uh, we're going to be looking at the B2 kit today, so this is their second level of performance that they offer. And what you get with that is a, a number of different components, um, including two that are above what is in the B1 kit. So we'll start off with the very, uh, very basics of the kit. And the first one is the, um, the air filter. This is a uh, Mountain air filter. It's an oil uh, type air filter, similar to like a K&N or a green filter. Uh, there's a number of different manufacturers like that. But it's a, uh, it's a conical filter. Um, it's, got a, um, it's got a filtering element on the inside as well as on the outside. Uh, this is the same um, air filter that is used on the, uh, the Focus uh, ST and the Escape, um, the 2 liter Escape as well. In fact, we have one of these in my uh, wife's Escape. So what do you get out of this is a little bit better airflow, um, which is always good whenever you're uh, going to look at adding any more uh, power to the engine. Um, but with the, uh, the way the EcoBoost engines work, you actually get a little bit more sound out of the, um, the bypass valve as well because it exits into the, um, into the induction system because it's a closed loop system. So you actually will hear a little bit more of the, uh, the bypass valve uh, through this uh, filter. I also run uh, the Mountain filter on my Focus or uh, Fiesta ST, and uh, my brother does as well on his one liter. So far, we've been very happy with the um, performance of the Mountain filter. So this is the same part that you'd get if you were buying the uh, the B1 kit, um, and you get it, of course, in the B2 kit as well. So this should only take a few minutes to install. It's just one simple hose clamp, and you're good to go. Next up is the. Um, this is a part that uh, when you move into the B2 kit, this is where this part uh, starts to be, um, be included. It's not included in the B1. And that's a new updated uh, recirculation valve. Go ahead and get this thing out. This is uh, to replace the, uh, the factory uh, plastic uh, unit. And um, also I, the factory uses a, uh, a rubber diaphragm. And the Montoon one uses a, uh, an all aluminum construction. And it uses an aluminum piston. And what this does is it really equalizes the pressure um, between the, um, the sides, the turbo housing. So this is going to be even more important as you start to add more boost pressure. So it helps control also um, the uh, overspinning of the, uh, the turbo. So um, as an ex-valve um, uh, engineer, I could say I'm very impressed with everything I've seen on the, uh, the Mountain recirculation valve. It is uh, hard anodized, so it should last a very long time. Uh, it's got a, um, looks like a vacuum line that, that tees off the, uh, the top here and then the, uh, the engraved Montoon logo. O-rings are seated on the back, and uh, this will be installed when we uh, do the first oil change on the car. That way, um, it's easier to get to. There's an underbelly uh, tray on the, um, the Focus RS that's gonna be difficult to, uh, to install this if you're just gonna be doing it on the ground with, um, with just jacks and jack stand. It's not impossible to do, but it's just easier if you're gonna go in for an oil change, um, just go ahead and get this installed at that time, and that's our plan. So let's go ahead and slip this thing uh, back in the bag. We don't want to have uh, any contaminants get on the bottom of the research valve um, or on the O-rings, so we'll just go ahead and uh, close that back up. You also get uh, instructions on um, how to install the, uh, the research valve. Uh, you can actually see uh, it's installed on the, uh, the turbo here. You can see the factory one installed there. So we're going to remove that plastic housing and replace it with the uh, aluminum one. Okay, uh, next up is the, uh, the Cobb access port. The access port you get on the, uh, the B1 kit as well as B2 and above. So it comes with uh, a number of different things inside the access port box. So here we have the, uh, the quick start guide for your access port. And then we have the access port uh, right here. Now this is already, uh, this comes pre-tuned from Montoon. When you order the kit, you, you select uh, what fuel you want, where you want the launch control, um, a number of different options, including uh, the ability to uh, disable auto start stop. So a number of different options already pre-programmed in here. It's programmed for 93 octane. Uh, living in Michigan, 93 octane is available pretty much everywhere. Uh, so that's the same as I use in my, um, my Fiesta ST. And then also with the access port, you get the, um, the cable to interface inside your, um, your laptop computer so you can download uh, new updates as well as upload uh, data logging. 
You get the OBD2 port that plugs into the under dash uh, OBD2 port and then plugs into the access port. And this is what you use to actually transmit uh, data to and from the access port from the, uh, the PCM. You get a uh, um, adhesive backed mount, so you can mount this thing uh, pretty much anywhere in the vehicle you want. And then you get also, you get uh, inside the box with uh, the access port, you got uh, two Mountoon stickers. Uh, doesn't look like Mountoon uh, offers license plate frames and a sticker pack with their uh, large purchases like they used to. I've, I've had a number of things I've bought from them as of recently and they don't include that anymore. Uh, my stuff I bought for my Fiesta ST and uh, Brandon bought for his one liter, both came with all that in a box. Uh, kind of a nice touch, wish they still did that. Now you gotta buy it separately. So uh, the last thing on the uh, list, and this is what you get with the B2 kit and above, is the um, the Mountoon badge. You only get one badge for whatever reason. I don't know why different packages you get two badges and this one you only get one. But there's our Mountoon badge and this will go uh, either on the deck lid uh, underneath the RS logo or on the uh, the front bumper under the RS logo. Uh, we haven't quite decided which uh, location it will go yet. So we'll go ahead and package that back up here. Uh, one thing you're going to be asking is well how much how much performance increase uh, do you get out of this? Well. Montoon has on their website, they published their, uh, their Mustang dynamometer graphs with 91 octane, and they are claiming 69 pound-feet of torque increase at 3,300 RPMs and 44 horsepower increase at 4,300 RPMs. Um, this leaves you to with a wheel torque of 429 uh, pound-feet at 3,300 and wheel horsepower of 341 at 5,200 RPM. There's a dyno graph there. Um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to argue uh, with Mountoon if you disagree with the results, but that's what they have. I don't have anything to back up whether or not this is accurate or not. I go by whatever they have published and consider that they have done their homework on it as well. Besides, if you're not using the, uh, the SAE um, or ISO specs on, um, uh, for your dyno, it's really just more of a comparative number anyway. I know the internet loves to uh, get into arguments over what type of uh, dyno graph and what does it mean and all the games you can play with that. I'm not gonna get into any of that, but I just wanted to let you know those are the numbers that uh, that Mountoon does say that um, they saw on their Mustang dynamometer with 91 octane fuel. So we're gonna be riding 93, expect our uh, values to be slightly different. But otherwise, that pretty much wraps up what is the B2 kit for Mountoon. We're going to go ahead and uh, take all this back out to the garage and install it on the vehicle and see what type of uh, difference it makes over stock. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, looking at the, uh, the B2 kit. If you have any questions, feel free to um, leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to, uh, to answer accordingly. Uh, if you're interested in this kit, you can find it directly from Mountoon. I think there may be even a few other distributors that offer it as well. This package came directly from Mountoon. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll talk to you guys later.